If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Welcome back in. Final segment. This is Thursday Night Live with Dennis Fitter here on WNST. We are live from Greenmount Station in Hampstead up here in downtown. The come to play tonight. Let me tell you that. They have come to play. Fremont Mortgage brings the show. If you're looking to buy or refinance a home, don't make a 30 year mistake by choosing a wrong lender. For record low interest rates, call Fremont Mortgage at 800 955 8508. There's never an application fee, underwriting, processing, and closing, all done right there in the local office. Rates are at record lows. This is going to be the last mortgage you will ever need to take out. Why would you risk it with someone else? Call Fremont Mortgage at 800 955 8508 or visit FremontMortgage.com, NMLS 1071. Give it up again for Dennis Pitt and Gino Grabcastle, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dennis, next week, are you doing the reads? What? or was it because I texted you? No, I remember. Then you text me and then I really remember. <laughs> you can be honest, you weren't going to do it, were you? No, I was. I really was. You were just, you were thinking about not doing it just to make me mad. That I was thinking I about. I figured that. I feel like we've got a little bit of a rivalry with you. <laughs> I just hope that we don't ever have to do anything that involves like a physical competition because other than the, the milk challenge, which we're still on. No. no. I want to, well yeah, okay, we're still on because you have to do it in order right, to correct. test it. When I accomplish the milk challenge, then you have to do it as well. Yeah, but you're I'm doing it. I don't think you understand. I'm doing it. I'm doing it only because I want to see you do it. <laughs> I'll practice for weeks in order to make sure I can do it. You're going to drink a gallon of milk a week just to practice? I don't know if you've looked at me recently, but clearly I have no respect for my own body. So I'm going to try and find the feeling. Because I assume that if we could get a good eating story, it would be better. Probably come to Gino Gradkowski. Gino, we were talking last week, we were up at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, and we were talking about monumental feats of eating. I'd like to think that a man of your stature probably has accomplished a thing or two in the world of eating. I don't love for 20 uh, Nothing that comes to the top of my head. No. Uh, I mean, no, I actually have a story. It's tremendous. So it was one of our preseason games. I don't remember which game. And uh, we're in the team hotel. It was one of the home games. I think it was the first home game. Gino looks like he's legitimately embarrassed right now. Though. Well, I mean, it's not. All right, all right. He'll be fine. Um, you know, preseason, I was, you know, out with my hand injury. So, I, you know, night before game, I was, you know, trying to have some fun. Just do whatever. But, um, you weren't playing. Right, right, right. I wasn't playing. So I go up, I'm walking back to my room after, you know, our nightly meetings and all that, and um, I see Gino, and who are you, who's your room? KO, it wasn't, I wasn't with KO, I think it was, it was just a bunch of different guys. Yeah, there's just a few guys, and, you know, he's got a couple of bananas in his hands, and a couple of cans of Sprite. And I said, what are you doing? And he said, well, I'm doing the Sprite banana challenge. What? Is that? Have you never heard of that? It's no. Things they come up with are ridiculous. Yeah. You know, I, I've actually I witnessed somebody before attempt this, and it didn't really work because I think he did it wrong. But so the challenge is you have to eat two bananas and drink two cans of Sprite in two minutes, and then it will induce vomiting. Hang on a second. Yeah, the reason why I tried this was because I thought it was completely. I, I just didn't think it was BS. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. I didn't think it was real, so I was just gonna. And you, you said, know, what a time? Bucks, yeah, I got a couple bucks for it, five, five from uh, three guys. But did it end with a reversal the way that we would expect it to? It did. So you thought it was a good idea to participate in the challenge the night before a football game <laughs> that was going to lead to a reversal? It was a preseason game. Uh, I guess that's true. He's a rookie. Yeah. I know. They kind of matter. Those games do matter. So. That's what I what he was thinking, but so, to be honest, it was pretty entertaining to watch. So you sat back, you said, well, I have to be a part of this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no way I'm not watching this guy. So you do the bananas first. Yeah, you do the bananas first. And then you just you just chug the two cans of spray? Yeah. He's one me the F. I ate the two bananas pretty fast, so I didn't really like to chug the sprites. Yeah, he, he left himself some time to, to, right, to enjoy them. I didn't want to chug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To 
just sit and enjoy the taste of the Sprite as it was getting ready to come back up. Next 4th of July. Yeah, correct. This is a great idea, by the way. I, I really didn't think it was going to work because I watched somebody else do it, and I think we didn't time them in two minutes. And it probably took five minutes or so to drink all the Sprite, so it didn't really work. But, you know, so I wasn't, I just want to see if it was going to work with Gino. You have to do it in two minutes. Yeah, it has to be under two it minutes. It has to be under two minutes in order to work. And so he did it, you know, with probably a 30 seconds to spare or whatever, and, uh, <laughs> and immediately he said, oh, that Sprite made me so sick. <laughs> and he goes to the bathroom and he starts, you know, up checking and so. I wish this story ended with, like, you know, one of the coaches walking down the hall and yelling in, what's going on in there? And they're like, oh, nothing, coach. Oh, we're just a bunch of guys having fun, typical night before the game stuff. Yeah, Gino's just got some pregame jitters and getting out. Just a lot like that. That's right. So there we go. Uh, all right, Dennis, I've been wanting to ask you this, and I'm uh, not because I don't like uh, having her out here, but I'm kind of glad that your wife is here because now I feel like I feel like you get a more honest answer from you. How does she handle your stardom? Let's just let's call it like it is. You become a little bit of a, a popular guy here. Yeah. You're, you're, the, you're the tight end. You're the guy catching the touchdowns. You become a little bit of Mr. Popular in town. So. When you're out, people approach you. Probably a lot of young ladies approach you. How does she handle it? You know, I, I don't really feel like you know a star or anything like that. I you don't have to be humble. I know you're not. I mean, I'm, I'm being honest. I don't walk around town and get stopped all the time by people. You know, for the most part, people don't recognize me, which is you know a good thing. But you know, unfortunately, a lot of the time I hang out with Joe Flacco. And, yeah. You know, he's a guy that when you see him walking on the street, you can't miss him. So, because <laughs> uh, he's seven feet tall. Yeah, I think more people recognize me because I'm with Joe Flacco than if I was just by myself. So they just assume. They say, "Oh, that's probably Dennis Pitt because he's hanging with Flacco." Well, I was thinking, have you ever had a situation where they like ask Joe for his autograph and they say, "Oh, right, and you?" Um, oh, no, I mean, I've you. I mean, every time we go out, you know, somebody comes up to Joe, and I end up just taking the picture for him. You know? Which is great. I mean, I love it. And, uh, you know, nobody really ever asks you know, for my autograph, which is, you know, it's peaceful. So, um, but I mean, Joe, it, it's unbelievable. He gets he gets hounded everywhere he goes. And, uh, but I mean, I don't feel bad for him because he never tries to wear a hat or like a. I tell him he needs like a mustache and a hat to put on. He yeah, on. he tried the mustache. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't. It, it just made it worse. I know. It just made it worse. <laughs> You know, this might be similar. So, have you ever had a situation where you're like walking around with your brother, and you ever tried to like just to, to, to piss him off a little bit? You just said, "Hey, is that Bruce Rankowski over there?" You ever done anything like that? No, I've never done anything like that. But, uh, I, don't know, I, I never really had to worry about it because people, people would recognize him, but no, wouldn't like like Dan said, it wouldn't be normal. Or, 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 uh, it wouldn't happen a lot. It wasn't like there was a paparazzi following. It wasn't like it would be with Joe around here. Right. Did, did, have you done that with Joe at all? Like where you know somebody thinks they see Joe Flacco and they can't be sure, and you just like go out of your way to make sure they know it is Joe Flacco, just to sort of piss them off a little bit? No, I mean, I've had people come to me and say, hey, is that Joe Flacco right there? And I said, no, it's not Joe Flacco. <laughs> and we just keep walking with um, He gets it all the time, though. Like, you know, when we go to dinner and do something like that, and, you know, he, he gets stopped so much that it's almost like, oh, okay, here we go, John. Let's, we gotta get out of here, bro. Right. And uh, so, I, you know, I usually tell people, no, that's not Joe Flacco. <laughs> it's just What's funny is, we were actually out to dinner. You ever say it's his brother? Like, that's his, that's, it's actually his brother. No, I never say that. Um, we were, uh... Well, I tried. <laughs> I shot that. Down. Yeah, right. Well, I'll just move on, then. <laughs> We were out to dinner, um, I want to say a week or, so, or two weeks ago or something like that, and uh, we're sitting there and there's a family across from us, you know, a, a husband and wife and their two kids, and um, one of the kids said, hey, that looks like Joe Flacco, and then I started kind of talking to him, hey, are you Joe Flacco? And the dad goes, no, no, that's not Joe Flacco. <laughs> if that was Joe Flacco, we'd have bodyguards all around him. <laughs> you know, the kid generally thought it might have been. 
and the dad just shot it down immediately, and Joe's like, no, it's me, and the dad was laughing, thinking he was, you know, joking about it, playing along, so, and, you know, they, they got up, paid their bill, left, and, you know, never realized that it actually was Joe was laughing. Yeah. I thought the father was going to come back and say, hey, man, that was really nice of you, pretending to be Joe Flacco. <laughs> Thing for you to do. I, know, I mean, well, I mean, none of them believe it. Joe Flacco because the dad immediately just shot it down. That's really fun. Hey, so you were talking about Southern California a minute ago, and I've been meaning to ask you. I know you and your wife are big TV watchers. Um, have you ever? Do you watch Saturday Night Live? Um, yeah, every now and then. Okay. Have you seen the bit they do, the Californians bit? Oh, you know, I just watched that. Okay. Uh, last week, I think. Tell me that's not exactly what it's like to live in Southern California. That's exactly what it's like. I think you should take the yeah. freeway. To the 101, to the yeah. I mean, I'm butchering it right now. Obviously. No, I was I was hoping we keep going with that actually. No, I realized I should stop myself. Ah, oh, damn it! I keep getting closer and closer to, get to, to getting you to do something. <laughs> I keep I getting. Know, I almost I almost took the bait right there. I feel like we've gotten closer over these weeks, and that eventually you're gonna feel comfortable enough. In your head, we've probably gotten. Oh. <laughs> sometimes when I sometimes when I go out, I say, "Yeah, you should meet my friend Dennis." <laughs> We're not, we're not. No. I'm just, I'm that's weird because you told my girlfriend that you were friends. <laughs> I see what's really mean. Uh, all right, so uh, Sunday in Kansas City, we just had a guy come up and say, oh, you guys are going to beat the Chiefs. And I said, all right, Dennis has to handle this the right way. Gino's got to say the right thing here. This is a tough NFL football team, tough place to play. You guys just played this team in the playoffs a couple of years ago. I mean, obviously, it's, uh, you know, this isn't a walkover. No, certainly not. And, uh, you know, it's always tough to go on the road. And, uh, you know, the Chiefs are a good football team. They're good on defense. They've got a lot of explosive players on offense. So, I mean, it's going to be tough. You know, every week in the NFL, it's just you have to come out and you have to play your best. And so, you can't take the Chiefs lightly. Whoever that guy was, um, you know, you got to know every team is good. Gino, going on the road in the NFL, you guys did this in probably a little bit different in college going on the road. What's it like? The walking in, we talked about the atmosphere in the NFL. You did this in Philadelphia a couple weeks ago. What's that like, that moment you walk in and you look around and say, oh my God. It's, it's, I've heard a lot of great things about Arrowhead Stadium. I heard it, it gets very loud there, so I'm excited about it. But, like Dennis said, the Chiefs are a great football team. They have a lot of great talent uh, on both sides of the ball. So you know, this is a big game for us coming up, and, and uh, you know, I'm just excited to to uh, experience the atmosphere there because I've heard a lot of people you know, say Running the no-huddle on the road, running the, you know, with, with everybody yelling and screaming, is it as difficult as we think it is or we say it is during the course of the week or are you guys sort of laughing when we say that and you say, dude, it's not really all that much of a difference? Either one of you, it's fine. Gino just looks at me and wants me to respond. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I think we talked about this a little bit last week, but it's, it's always tough to go on the road and in those kind of you know the crowd's gonna be loud and you know we do so much you know verbal communication at the line of scrimmage that it makes it tough when the crowd's loud you can't do them. So you know we have signals and stuff like that. And, um, you know our non-verbal communication really has to be good when we're out there and uh, you know that's what we've been working on all week. You know we, we've got loud music playing in practice so we really can't hear each other while we're practicing so we can you know simulate that a little bit but it's always tough, and you just have to be able to manage it. I actually figured out your guys' hand signals last week. I figured out that on third down, you were going to bunt. I was like, that's what they're going to bunt, and they're going to send the runner to second base. I figured out your hand signals. Well done. Yeah, right? I worked on that for a while. You guys like barbecue, by the way? Are you Absolutely. barbecue guys? Are you going to get an opportunity this weekend to go? The Kansas City barbecue is good. Yeah. It's uh, really good. I've heard that. I uh, watched that show. We talked about man versus food. We did. He, he we went did. there and had all the barbecue. Uh, We don't have a lot of free time. Right? Nestor said he'd take you out. He, he said he'd take you out. We're not friends. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> You're not friends either. You're not friends either. All right, give it up one more time for Dennis Pitt and Gino Grackhouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number one, great guy. Thank you guys for coming out here to Carroll County and hanging out with us tonight having some fun. We really appreciate it. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.